Hello, today we are doing a hike, El Caminito del Rey. It has been a little just crazy today. Everything has gone on not according to plan. We were unable to get tickets to do this, so I booked a tour, but then we had problems with our rental car, so we were late and we couldn't do the tour, but they were like, you can still go do the hike by yourself. So now we're just gonna do it by ourselves. <laughs> like I kind of wanted to do in the first place, but we just ended up having to pay more. Normally your just general admission ticket is 10 euros. Uh, for the tour I paid for is about 33 euros, so, if you can't get a general admission ticket, I'd recommend trying to get a tour since I believe that they must buy tickets as like as soon as they're available and just have a set amount for the tours each day. Um, that'd be my recommendation. We parked here in El Choro. It's about an hour from Malaga and we are now walking to the entrance. So off we go. Okay, we got our helmets. We are ready to go. You just, if you park in El Choro, you just walk down the road to the control station where you show them your tickets. You might actually even be able to buy tickets there even if they're sold out online. We're gonna try and get some more information about that for you. If that's true, I'm gonna be a little sad that, you know, we went through all this hassle to do the guided tour and then didn't even make it and just ended up paying more. But they give you a little hairnet and a helmet that you have to wear at all times. And then you are on your way. They give you some rules, you know, Pretty basic standard stuff. Don't touch or hurt animals. Don't fly a drone, don't smoke. Listen to the, the guides that are on the path that have the red helmets. And other than that, we, it's pretty simple. super cool and it's definitely worth it to come out here. You stop at a little control stop after you walk up a dirt hill and they wait so that you can walk across this bridge. Um, there's a little bit of congestion because right now there was a rock slide a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago, so you enter and exit through the same path. So there's a little bit of congestion as you have to wait for groups to go by so you can cross on the bridge. But once you've crossed the bridge, there's a separate way there and then you go through a tunnel on the way back. So we are here and it's been just us. So I'm kind of glad that we didn't go in a group. I like to be able to do things at my own pace and have us be the only ones. And so we're the only ones here right now. Like, I don't know. Everybody else went ahead of us and we've just been taking it really slow, enjoying the views. As far as it being dangerous, you can see the old path. And when you see it, you're like, oh yeah, I can see why this was dangerous. Now this new path is totally fine. It's very new, safe no issues with it. If you're scared of heights, that's where you might have a problem, but otherwise the views are spectacular and it's really fun. We're having a great time. <laughs> The part on the platforms really isn't super long. It's a decent distance, but if you read that the hike is three miles, it's not totally on the platforms. After the platforms, it's kind of in a rocky area with some trees. It's nice because it's really shaded right now. So we walked a little bit. They said that you can keep walking and there's a little turnabout, then you turn around. We decided not to go all the way because it's not anything extra special. You can see some mountain goats though. We saw a couple and uh, one was a baby. So that was kind of fun and cute. We took a little break, ate some food that we brought from Malaga yesterday at the market. The Apple Watch said it was about 1.7 miles to get here. We're not sure if it like, 
kept accurate track because it kind of would stop when we'd have to wait at the beginning for people to pass. So we're gonna record on the way back the distance as well and let you know if that's accurate or about where we think it's at. finish the hike to get back you just turn around and go back to where you came from and there's a tunnel and you walk through the tunnel all the way back and you actually get to cross the bridge again which isn't normal like we mentioned earlier there is something there's a rock slide and actually the beginning what's normally the beginning is broken and so they have you do this loop instead normally what you have to do is start on the other end walk through a pretty good amount of forest and then you get to like the cool platforms and you exit from this this side um, that is at the town El Choro. So you would normally either have to park here and take the shuttle which I believe is about 250 and start or you park at the beginning finish here and then take the shuttle back which is about 250. So it's only been on this new route for a couple weeks is what they said and they don't know how long it's going to be so Important to know you may have to do this different route, but in my opinion, I think it's better because you get to start with the cool part and end with the cool part. So that's fun. They did say that they do have tickets available here sometimes. It's not for sure. It's not always the 10 euro by yourself ticket. Sometimes they're guided tour tickets. So it just really depends. If you want to risk it, if you're not able to get online, you can always come down here. But if you want to for sure get in, you can get a tour with someone else online. I just booked through Get Your Guide, which we ended up not even doing it, which was fine because I had more fun by myself, I think, than <laughs> with a guide, but you have that option. Hike is super fun and really not too difficult. The only thing is you do have to walk up. It's about uh, 400 meters of elevation. Right now, the round trip is about a three mile walk, plus like an extra kilometer to get to your car if you park back up in town in El Chordo. So not too difficult. The only thing, like if you're scared of heights, that's the only thing you probably need to be worried about. I saw a lot of people, young and old, you do have to be at least eight years old to do the hike. But other than that, lots of ages, groups, families, all kinds of people. That is our trip here. Super beautiful place. I'm so <laughs> glad we got to come and do it. We were fought against a few different challenges, but we made it. We're gonna actually go stay the night in a cute little town called Antequera and see what the day brings tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe.